Raiders are kind of a mess, and uh, Derek Carr broke down yesterday. That's pretty tough. So they lost to Jeff Saturday and the Colts. Now, my first takeaway is sometimes you bring in a former player to a locker room like Jeff Saturday, and for a couple of weeks, everybody's feeling big and alpha, and it can work. I've seen it work with Dan Campbell. I, I, do I think Jeff Saturday is going to go down as Andy Reid? Probably not. He's smart enough, but I, I, it's hard to coach in this league. There's like four great coaches, maybe six. Um, I hear this. Colin, this was a playoff team last year. Um, barely, and so what? The Rams won the Super Bowl. They stink today. This isn't college football. It's the NFL. Half the playoff teams don't make it the following year. So what? Secondly, Derek Carr is to blame. Well, he's been average, 15th in the league. He's not been terrible. I mean, yesterday, Derek Carr, 250 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, 24 of 38, 100 passer rating. That wasn't the reason. Devontae Adams had nine catches, 126 yards, a touchdown, a 50-yarder. Uh, that's not the reason. They get along fine. Let me throw this at you. Number one is new coach, new offensive system, and Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro have been hurt. Renfro's a top three to four slot receiver, and Darren Waller's a top two or three tight end. They've both been hurt. So Devontae Adams is getting double teamed a lot. People shading the coverage over, rolling the coverage over. It's something. A lot of good coaches in the NFL. They're taking away Devontae as much as they can. Secondly, the Raiders don't have a history in recent decades of a strong culture. So when you bring a Belichick assistant in, they're smart guys. They're not known as culture builders, the Belichick guys. So you have a bad culture. And it was a mess before Josh McDaniels got here. And a guy who's not known for building cultures. And maybe it just takes a year. I'll give you an example. Robert Sala with the Jets. Jets, similarly, don't have a history of great cultures. They bring in a coach, Robert Sala, who'd never built his own culture. Last year, the Jets were a mess. I mean, they were uneven. There were games looked like they didn't practice. Give it 12 months, give it 15 months, you watch the Jets this year, win or lose, he's sandpapered down the rough edges, you get the same Jets team, their strengths, their limitations every week. It took Sala a year because this was not an organization known for great culture upstairs. Similarly, the Raiders, like the Jets, a lot of losing, a lot of weirdness, a lot of stuff that's unpredictable. They blow their coach out last year. Should have been blown out, got blown out. GM gets blown out. This is not an easy one. This is not the Chiefs with the Hunt family. You know, this isn't... You know, there's a lot of organizations, not the Packers, where Matt LaFleur inherits a lot of winning and Aaron Rodgers and a stable front office. You know, the Jets and the Raiders, bit of a you-know-what upstairs. They come in, and the first year is choppy. I think the Raiders, injuries to stars with a new offense, Josh McDaniels trying to build this thing. I don't want to hear they made the playoffs. Half the teams that made the playoffs don't the following year. The Rams stink. But I think it's really hard when you – it's much easier Matt LaFleur inherits the Packers or Andy inherits the Hunt family in Kansas City. That's a much easier gig than, you know, uh, Cliff Kingsbury goes down to Arizona. That's been a mess for a year. Steve Wilkes tried it, and that thing went sideways fast, and he couldn't overcome it. And then Cliff came into Arizona, and it looked like it may go sideways, and all of a sudden he gets his arms around it, and now it's going sideways again, and it's the stuff all starts upstairs. So I, the Raiders have the talent. You got Wallers out and Renfro's out, and one of Belichick's assistants is trying to build his old culture, and Robert Sala last year took it down to the studs. I mean, there were multiple games last year. As a Jets fan, they looked awful. It were, I mean, they beat Tennessee, and everybody's like, yeah, Jets were awful in half their games. <sighs> but here's the thing I like. They're not bailing. I mean, here's Derek Carr after. They're all in. They're just losing. Winning's hard in this league, and it's even harder when upstairs is a mess. And I think the Raiders will get it turned around. I'd feel a lot better as a Raider fan today than a Bronco fan. I mean, you gave me Broncos this morning and the Raiders. I'll take the Raiders. I'll take Derek Carr and those weapons and Josh McDaniel. I'll take the Raiders over Denver. Chargers, I like their GM and I like their quarterback, but I, I don't trust the Chargers in the big spot. They're not Kansas City.
but again, Josh McDaniels didn't inherit a lot of the stuff that Kansas City brings to the table, a lot of stability. So sometimes just take a deep breath. Not every problem and situation is solvable. I would take the Raiders in a heartbeat over Denver situation. I mean, they are trapped. They got they got four years. I mean, that Derek Carr, you're not paying that much money to. What does Denver do? And I'm not even sure. How come the Chargers have a defensive coach and their defense isn't generally very good? I don't know what's going on. 